I think if you give good value for money, people will buy. If you, you, you try and outsmart the market, the market will outsmart you. Don't try to be clever. Give people good value for money and they'll come and buy the products. We're doing developments in Rudderport and giving good value for money. And we've only got 36 units left in the entire complex of 162. People are buying where they see value. If they see that there's a gimmick and it's too expensive, they're not buying any longer. Well, I think it's a great opportunity for us to network with other property practitioners, for one. And also, there's a hell of a lot of buyers coming through the show. And we really want to engage with them and uh, tell them about uh, why it's important to do a property inspection before you buy. Because it's one of the only ways you can protect yourself as a buyer in South Africa. Unfortunately, the odds are stacked against you. Uh, you have a well-meaning estate agent, they, are, they put an offer to purchase form in front of you and that requires you to sign a footstool clause, which means you buy the property as is. And you move in and you take the roof leaks as is, you take the penetrating damp as is and you take the rising damp as is. You take the geyser that hasn't been fitted as is and down the line that can cost you a bit of money. And uh, so to protect yourself you, it's far better to know about these things up front. Some of the things I'm learning as I go and I think had I known before I came into when I went to buy, they would have helped me in a way because there's a lot of cost involved over and above the bond repayment. So this kind of helps you in terms of budgeting and then also looking into um, investment property because not a lot of young people are aware that you can actually go into something like that because people are just as long as i can rent it's fine so for me is to seek more information about these things and then also how do i what's the next step from here with this information that i have what do i do from here one thing i did uh, sort of pick up is, is a rising damp problem and what's what's good with being in an environment like this we've actually come into contact with a, a specialist provider of those solutions, which you know can help not only us as insurers, but also consumers, uh, because that can be an issue depending on where they are. You know, nobody wants to sit with wet walls in a, in a home for an extended period. Uh, it's important for the, for the users or the, 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 the people that are coming to the show to see what we're all about, but all the, the, the people that are exhibiting at the show, like Better Bond, like um, uh, Suntum, like the insurance companies, nobody really insures Rising Damp as an insurance company because they can't seem to find a solution to eliminate it permanently. Uh, we've tried um, with Zurich in the past couple of years back to potentially introduce it, but because there's so much red tape, uh, we weren't re really interested in going those routes. As time went on and we started building up more on the corporate side, then the other companies, insurance companies, will start following suit and will actually start realizing that we do have this technology, it does work, and now they can actually start insuring rising damp for your residential or commercial um, business people and knowing that there's actually a permanent solution for this problem.